Hey there, so today we're gonna check out Marvel Midnight Sun's official gameplay. This is an upcoming game by Marvel, which will be released in March of 2022. We still have a ways to wait until the game's released, but we saw the trailer last week and now we're gonna take a look at the official gameplay. I am super excited. As you know from my reaction, I thought that trailer was amazing. I did not know what to expect. I'm not familiar with the Midnight Suns, but that trailer blew me away. Those characters look super cool and the visuals look cool. I know that wasn't officially what the game is gonna look like, but hey, they sold me. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to take a look at how the characters are gonna move around, what the action looks like, what's the storyline. Um, I'm really, really curious. So far, we know that we have um, Iron Man, Captain America, Doctor Strange. We have Captain Marvel, um, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Magic, and Sister Grimm from Marvel Runaways. Thanks to Robert for letting me know who everyone was on the roster. But yeah, let's take a look at what the game looks like. How long was I in that crypt? Hmm. I know. The music is so cool. No more than a few centuries. Okay, this is gonna be a new character. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. I know where the sun is set. Until now. Okay, so this is a new character that you can play Your as. Whoa. Missed. Whatever caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number Nico, on you. No. We got a lot of work to do. The character design is really, really neat. Ooh. All right, look at these costumes. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's take. Show me what you got. Of course. Caretaker has Magic. reformed the Midnight Suns. Ooh. Well time. Yes, Blade, come on. You're a midnight Sun now. One of us. Whoa, those costumes are sick. I like the gold a lot. There's cards. Wanda? Let's go, Bub. Wanda Vision, are we gonna get Wanda? Oh. Whoa. Are these? Okay. I'm looking at gameplay right now, right? Yeah, yeah, look at that. The staff of one. Ghost Rider! Doctor Strange is the coolest. Ooh. Whoa. Coolest shot. Okay. Okay, I mean... That looked a lot like the trailer. Sabertooth. Let me guess. Stealth, not your style. I'm a vampire, remember? We invented stealth. Show me. No, show me. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So that was our first look at the gameplay. And I have to be honest with you, I feel like I didn't get a lot of actual gameplay. I wanted to see more Blade. Why did I not see more Blade? <laughs> Hey there, part two. So looks like there is an extended video trailer of the gameplay um, that I saw when I was editing this. So I'm going to go ahead and watch that. I think there's going to be more um, actual gameplay and it's, it's a walkthrough. So um, let's see what they have for us. Okay, yeah. Look at how cool Doctor Strange is. 
greatest strategy and tactics experts have teamed up with the world's greatest storytellers to create a new AAA experience unlike anything before it. Welcome hmm. to Marvel's Midnight Suns. Oh, I'm excited to be here. Okay. This new tactical RPG from Veraxis is set in the darker side of the Marvel Universe. Packed uh, with a deeply yes. customizable tactical battle system that rewards clever thinking with superhero flair. An epic, supernatural story that brings you face to face against the demonic forces of the underworld. A deep role playing experience where you get to live among Marvel legends. I like the that. First customizable original hero okay, from the see. Marvel Universe. As darkness falls, rise up. Midnight Suns and face off against it. Can't wait for Captain Marvel 2. The Marvels, by the way. End of the world. I'm ready Centuries to explore. Lilith, mother of demons, has been revived by Hydra Ooh. through a twist of dark uh, magic and science. Of course, it's Hydra. Dark magic and science. Not the combination. Lilith will stop at nothing to fulfill the prophecy of the Midnight Sun and bring back her evil master, Cthon. <gasps> Alongside her is her- We're gonna come back to that. Demonic forces who carry out her twisted will with fanatical devotion. I thought it was Cthon, by the way. Cthon? Pushed to the brink by her return, the Avengers desperately revive a dark power of their own, the Hunter. A legendary hero, forsaken child of Lilith, and the only one known to have beaten Lilith before. In Marvel's Midnight Sun, awesome. the player takes on the role of this new hero, who until recently lay peacefully in a centuries-long sleep, tucked away in a quiet yeah. crypt on the grounds of the Abbey, the secret headquarters of an organization known only as the Midnight Suns. Oh For yeah. The first time in any Marvel game, the Hunter is a customizable original story. That's cool. Allowing you to live out your very own Marvel adventure. That's really cool. That's really, really cool that you can Both fully customize that. Marvel's Midnight Suns. Look at Doctor Strange. Collection of heroes that Look at that. The Marvel Universe, including the Avengers, Whoa. Runaways, and more. You'll see these heroes in a new that light staff is to cool. develop relationships and strengthen your personal bonds outside mm -hmm. the field of battle. Every hero has a completely unique set of abilities, ranging wow. from damage dealing attacks to life saving skills to epic game changing finishes. Look at that! Oh, oh. super moves! Skills Whoa, that's a cool costume, and Captain Marvel. Team ups that unleash devastating combo moves. Okay. Okay. With your superhero squad picked, it's time to start fighting back the forces of Lilith. Combat in Marvel's Midnight Suns Whoa. is a cinematic tactical affair wow. that clever thinking with superhero flair. That is so the cool. controls a squad of three heroes and is dealt a random selection of hero abilities, like a hand of cards. These abilities offer a vast array of tactical choices that expand exponentially when combined with the battlefield itself. Shove, leap, and smash your way to victory using the environment to wreak okay. havoc on your enemies. That's an interesting take. Face first into that is, this hunter character is cool. Right over the edge. Victory requires a balance of smart tactical thinking and being able to read and react off the battlefield, as well as cultivating your friendships outside okay. of combat. Okay, so it is interactive. Right I appreciate that. And abilities. Battles rage across iconic Marvel locations <laughs> like Avengers Tower. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sanctum Sanctorum from New York City rooftops to underground Hydra installations. From sun-bleached deserts... So many characters that can show up. ...far beyond our own. That's cool. The okay, I, I think that is the cool. ...heroes return to the Abbey, a living hub that the player navigates in real time, experiencing for the first time in any Marvel game what it's like to not just fight alongside beloved Marvel heroes, but to live alongside them as well. The Abbey offers hours of rewarding exploration, gameplay, and story for the player to enjoy. Oh, is that There's Agatha? A few lovable, if unique, pets. Get to know awesome. your favorite Marvel heroes through careful conversation and shared time together through daily activities. Take a stroll with okay. Tony Stark on the Abbey grounds, or practice meditative yoga with magic. 
The choice is yours. Interesting. You choose wisely because every Caretaker. hero has their own preferences. Developing deep friendships can unlock power. That's cool. Okay. Combat. And in the app. Wow. So you're actually living Use there. The like that. of battle to earn new abilities for your heroes down Very cool. Forge. Upgrade current hero abilities out in the yard under Blade's watchful eye. Find new hero ops and missions in the war room with Captain Marvel and much, much more. When ready, it's time to choose a new mission. Choose your squad of heroes and return to battle. The enemy may grow more powerful with every fight, but the hunter and the heroes will rise in power to meet them because that's what true heroes Wow. Do. Okay, that's cool. I like that it's interactive and builds like that. I think the visuals, though, are really, really neat. Okay, okay. This extended, this extended look, actually. Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until Ooh. I did run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? I love those little things at the end. I love them. They're they're cool. They're cool. That's really, really interesting. Okay. Wow. Okay. So after having seen both of those trailers, I definitely think that the extended look is much better and gives us obviously a much deeper look at what the story is going to be and what the game looks like. And I have to say, I think it looks awesome. I think having not only the main storyline, but the options to build bonds and relationship with your teammates is I think that's an innovative choice that um, keeps you engaged and I, I really appreciate that because I think these are really cool characters that everyone is like getting the game for um, no like the hunter is just a made-up character and so we all want to know like what blade is like or ghost rider and or doctor strange and so having us be able to like form a bond with them as if we ourselves were there I think it's really cool and I think that is something that Disney Marvel is setting itself apart in, you know, we obviously have like Disneyland, which is like an immersive experience, but now with Avengers Campus um, and this game, it really feels like their approach is to immerse you into the world and to make you feel like you're a part of it. That's unique because like, for example, DC doesn't really do that. You can have a whole different conversation about DC and what they're doing over there. But no, I, I, I think that this is really cool. and. I am really interested in the game now because those locations that they were mentioning, I guarantee you we're going to have DLC characters that come along. That. I mean, they already have Sabretooth coming, um, so I'm not surprised if we get maybe a Daredevil in New York, an Elektra maybe, Hell's Kitchen, um, and and I think there's a lot of possibility there. Let's go back to Cathon or Trithon. I like Trithon, but I was not expecting to see him here because I feel like Chathon is going to show up in the MCU, potentially. Based off WandaVision, which in of itself didn't give us clues, but you pair that with Loki and you do start to see some clues for the presence of an, a supernatural being that could show up later. Um, and then you pair that with the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, I feel like Chathan, who wrote The Darkhold, who is, which is now in the possession of Wanda, could be part of the storyline for Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, because as we know, Wanda needs to get her kids back, um, and there are rumors that she's going to be the main villain of that. She's using The Darkhold. Anyway, if at least not in the MCU, we're going to get him in this game. So that's something. Let me know what you thought. Um, how did you like the uh, official gameplay? both the extended version and the shorter official version. Who are your favorite characters now based on that? I still am looking forward to playing Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is just next level. Um, but after that, I think this really made me interested in Nico. I think she looks really, really cool with her staff. Who are you interested in? Are you interested in the story? What do you think of the premise of the game? The fact that the hunter is fully customizable. They, she has some pretty cool looks, I have to say. Uh, are you uh, in or do you need to see more? Do you need to see more characters, more um, areas of the game? Well, let me know, let me know below. Thank you so much for watching Imran Plus. I hope you had a great time. 
more videos coming soon but in the meantime make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss a single video and don't forget to share this video with your friends and fellow movie enthusiasts i'll see you in the next one bye